okay welcome gemini let's see what is coming out all right you gemini's um some sort of information is coming in but it's going to be moving you in a positive direction so this is going to be good in the first week i see you have the ten of pentacles so gemini this looks really really good so business people this is going to be oopsie daisy good sorry ladies and gentlemen that one was uh, there um, so you have Jupiter and Gemini. Wow. All right, Gemini. This is the center of uh, your month. Oh, my God. Then we have the Seven of Swords. They're going to be recognized in the fall play that has happened and transpired. Then we see a judgment call is coming out on a, um, this could be a judgment call on a Libran, but we're going to be um, checking out a judgment call on Aquarius. And then we see um, the Eight of Cups. Um, someone um, is going to be getting the boot. Okay, so that is the end that is coming in. Is the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, where truths came out. Truths came out. So as you leave this month, a whole lot of information is going to be coming out. Then I see a lot of you Gemini's are going to be victoriously and successfully um, moving um, across now you guys see why I always set up the cards before I come I set the camera on but a lot of people wants to see how I um, do this okay and um, victory and success for you Gemini and you're going to be overcoming a Libran whoever this Libran is and whatever this Libran has done again some of you at the workplace truths are all coming out people are now recognizing People are now seeing the truth of what was transpiring and how a, a Libran have created a whole lot of issues and a judgment call is going to be coming in. So a lot of you, I see you um, Gemini, a lot of you Geminis um, in this uh, um, um, time span is going to be very, very, very lucky. All right, very lucky, Gemini. This is like unbelievable. Um, this is luck that you weren't even expecting. So, wow, Gemini. So, um, you know, whatever is happening and transpiring, you Geminis are dealing with a situation uh, from the past that has to do with an Aries or Sagittarian person, okay? This is the night of fire, okay? That is fire of fire. Whether this young person was, uh, um, it's very, it's, it's not very honest, okay? This is a fire of fire. It is a young person between the ages of 19 and 40, 45. Wasn't very honest, whether a male or a female, um, this person wasn't very honest. And what is happening and transpiring is that they have now recognized so, some sort of a foul play of this person and what this person have done. And they're investigating this person to find out how this person have so much money. It's as if a lot of you Geminis are recognizing, hey, but this person is supposed to be under some sort of a financial hardship but yet still this person business this person is building and creating and that sort of a thing where did the person get the money from so a lot of you um gemini's could have been investigating this person and recognizing whoever this young aries the or sagittarian person is their business is is moving up and how can that because if you notice the major things that is coming in and people are looking and saying, you know, this 10 of pentacles is Mercury in Virgo, wealth, and courage at, and, 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 and courage at all success. And you, you, you Virgos are thinking, ho, 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 ho. And, uh, a ten of pentacles is as if some of you are recognizing and this has been coming up for a lot of air sign people and it's as if people are now going to be going back and looking and seeing wait when this person comes in they weren't and all of a sudden oh they hit the jackpot and they are now going to be finding out what this person has done because some sort of information is going to be coming out that is going to be 
uh, making a lot of you Gemini very successful because you Gemini's are going to be like, hold on, it could be personal, you could be a personal officer, you could be a manager or something and think, whoa, that young person started and they never had a proper shoes on and uh, all of a sudden, uh, you know, they're, they're hitting the jackpot. Um, let me ask them if they had some sort of a, if they won the jackpot. And a lot of you managers are going to be recognizing that, whoa, 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 Mercury in Virgo. Mm, okay. All right. So someone win the jackpot, but <laughs> um, you're not going to be start looking at this person because you're thinking, well, if this person is, you know, hitting the jackpot, they don't need to work here anymore. And if you notice, you're going to be starting to, to look and the energy of the sun is that, um, you know, you're going to be starting, whoa, okay, all right, let me take a look at what is going on. So it could be a young Sagittarian, a young uh, Aries or Sagittarian person at the workplace so, and they're coming in, but you know, it's as if, uh, you know, they come in in a high position and you're looking at the Sagittarian or this Leo or this Aries person and recognizing, all right, because it's an Aries Leo or Sagittarian and it's a young person. And they came in in this organization and, you know, it's as if uh, money, they're doing well and they're having these huge bonuses so, and these huge bonuses. And then, you know, you decided using the energy of the sun. Hey, let me see what, what is their... How do they do it? You know, this is this is really good. They have been, and this is you know, and then the seven of swords is the sun on the sun and the moon, where some sort of a light is going to be shedding that this person up deceiving um, either a bank, financial institution, a huge international corporation where there is something to do with bonus and that sort of a thing. It's as if this person create their little um. It's, it's as if they, they, yeah, they create some sort of a program. How uh, they could be getting all these bonus and these sales people, the rest of the sales people haven't been doing well, but this the young person and they're recognizing, whoa, 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 whoa. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing whoever this Aries or fire sign person is. There is no way, um, you know, you're there so long. They have just come in and how they're making so much bonus. And then I see, the sun and the moon, look at that. Look at that. You're going to be recognizing that this person has been skimming from the pot. Okay? And they're great. You're going to be, oh, whoa, okay now. So a lot of you, and, and it could be an older person is thinking, whoa, um, you know, the shoes and the bag and the and the car that they drive, but they're um they're alone. They don't have a rich parent. So, what is happening? And it, it is just a situation that is someone at the workplace. And air, and, and then it was, it's going to be coming out in the third week uh, that they have been doing something very deceptive and judgment is coming down on them and the truth is going to be coming out. So this judgment call that is going to be coming down on them has nothing to do with you, Geminis. You, Geminis, are like looking at this. Wow. And you, Geminis, could have been a manager, supervisor, or a manager comes in to... You guys at this personal officer and said, listen, personal officer, listen, look at this person because this is kind of weird. Um, ever since they're working here, they've changed their car. Um, you know, the, 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 the you know, it's not that they shouldn't look properly coming to work, but whoa, um, they didn't come in looking like that. And, you know, it is three months. They've been here since January and look at what is happening. And then personal officer and then I see a little team is going on to look what is happening. So I see Mercury in Virgos. They're going to be investigating a Virgo businessman. Some of you might be an auditor that is investigating a, a Virgo businessman and auditing a Virgo businessman and is going to be recognizing, hmm, some of you could be auditing an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person, a young Aries Leo or Sagittarian person are recognizing there's a whole lot of deceptiveness. All right, they're going to be recognizing a whole lot of deceptiveness. Whoever this person is, is from another city or another country. And they're going to be auditing this person and recognize a whole lot of deceptiveness by this person. 
and their business and that sort of a thing. I see a judgment call is going to be coming down. And this judgment call is about a huge transition because they're going to be recognizing how this person facilitate themselves. Um, this is like really, really serious whenever this judgment call is coming down in a corporation. So if you work in a corporation, expect some sort of a breakthrough about a young um, Aries or Sagittarius a Pisces Cancer and a Libra is going to be coming out because people are going to be recognizing um, how they all of a sudden they could rebuild and do their business and was rebuilding at home. They recognize a bank financial institution recognize um, something about a Libra. Um, they're going to be recognizing a, a whole lot of like these these people. Um, Aries, they are Sagittarian, a Libra. Um, a Pisces and a Cancer. These are young people from different, from another country. And all of a sudden they, they, they get in this international corporation and all of a sudden they started driving these and, and, and none of them are married or so. And people are going to be start looking. The energy of the Eight of Swords is here. Jupiter in Gemini. So a lot of you Geminis. Jupiter and Gemini's, a lot of you Gemini's are going to be successful checking out and recognizing what is going on. So whether you're an auditor, whether you're an investigator, whatever professional profession you're in, if even you work at the Haven, um, yeah, the Haven, servant, Haven, um, where goods and service comes in, you're going to be recognizing that people Younger people that just started working there, how all of a sudden they're driving these expensive cars and that sort of a thing, which, you know, um, and you're going to go to personnel and say, listen, personnel officer, something is going on because this is kind of weird because this person come in with a rackety old car and all of a sudden, a lot of you were dealing with some sort of an issue. Um, um, you're going to be moving forward and you're going to be recognizing it was a Libran that was blocking you. Saturn in Libran. They're going to be firing a Libran. And they're, um, um, a whole lot of you at your company, they're going to be firing a Libran. Saturn in Libran. This is in your foundation. They're going to be finding out the connection with this Aries, Leo, Sagittarian and the Libran and finding out that they, either they brought each other in a company or their information and data is the same and they're going to be because their CVs have the same component and then a lot of you are going to be going back to the company that they were working to check and nobody knows these people all right so um people are going to be recognizing um that the, the the information of their skills and expertise that is on their curriculum vitter is not correct because they have the shared thing and people are recognizing um that some this is this is a this is incomplete or this is not correct because the data they both share the same data and they're not twins they weren't working at the same company and I see a lot of you Gemini is going to be victoriously um, successfully overcoming an Aries the or uh, Aries the or Sagittarian person and a Libran because you were the one who pull on the bell um, for to look. So achievement is the name of the game um, for you guys. Um, achievement, achievement. You're going to be successful over in Leo, whoever this Leo is and whatever this Leo has done. A Leo and a Cancer, they're going to be recognizing and you're going to be successfully overcoming a Leo and a Cancer because um, they're recognizing what a Leo and a Cancer have done. So a whole lot of you are dealing with a Leo and a Cancer and you are going to be successful over these people. If you notice, um, you're moving forward, um, showing up these people, okay? You're moving forward, showing up a Leo, a Cancer, a Libra, and uh, this is the Leo. Aries, the are Sagittarius, but it's more of a, a Leo and an Aries. And you're going to be overcoming these people and being very successful because this is your reading. And the energy of the sun is in the success. Plus, so, um, you have a sun in, in, in Gemini, sun in Gemini. 
and then you have Jupiter in Gemini. So this is going to be a powerful, powerful um, time span for you Geminis because people are now recognizing um, that a group of people all of a sudden, you know, they're, they, 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 you know, they have money and, and, and how, even if there was a, well, the stimulus check is here, taxes is now here, but you guys are going to be looking deeper. And as you look deeper, I see a hoarded, and they're going to be auditing a, um, a, a Virgo man. They're going to be auditing a Virgo man and recognizing, um, the sun and moon that this Virgo man had a lot of secrets uh, being connected with a Leon, a Cancer, a lot of secrets. And I see transition is going to be coming up, uh, breakthroughs, some sort of a breakthroughs by doing some sort of an auditing on a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, doing some sort of an auditing. They're going to be recognizing also that a, a Leo and a Cancer have created a whole lot of issue. So I see judgment call and I see that they're going to be firing these people. They're definitely going to be firing these people. So follow us to the other side in order to recognize because these were a group of people that was um, taken a lot from the company. And you, um, Gemini's, have a pull on the bell. I got to go. I do love you guys. If you want to um, see the extended follow us to the other side, you can use the first abundant. Please show your love by thumbs up. Namaste.